It's unboxing time here on GMBN Tech, and today we're checking out some Vittoria Cross Country wheels based on the Reaction carbon fiber wheel set using the Airliner system and the World Championship winning Barzo XC Race tires. Most importantly though for you lot is we're gonna be giving away a complete setup. So stay tuned to find out how you can win them. Okay, so let's check out the wheels themselves. So this is the Vittoria Reaction wheel set. It's a carbon fibre rim with 24 spokes laced onto a DT350 hub. Now the hub itself has got a few cool things up its sleeve, as well as the straight pull connection via those 24 spokes to the rim. Now at the centre of the hub, you have the ratchet drive system on here. You don't have regular pulls that you see on some hubs. You have the ratchets, which are extremely reliable. And this one has a 24 point engagement with a 15 degree between the pickups themselves. Now this is quite interesting because in fact, it's extremely low in rolling resistance. It's very fast and it's actually a tool free design. So it's possible to take them apart completely by hand, as you can see here. You can even see the ratchet doing its thing on the inside very easy to take apart for servicing and maintenance so no excuses for not looking after them the hub itself has the center lock mounting system for the disc rotor but Victoria helpfully provides you with a set of adapters so you can run regular six bolt disc rotors on there although I do quite like the center lock system it does simplify things somewhat now the rim design of course is made from carbon fiber and in cross country race terms, carbon is probably the ultimate material to make a set of rims for because it's one of the only ways you can make a super lightweight set of wheels stiff enough. It still retains the nice sort of resilience that you expect from carbon and from cross country wheels, yet they're nice and stiff and supportive. Now the rims themselves have a 28 millimeter internal rim width. That's very wide for a cross country set of wheels and it gives your tires extra stability it gives them slightly extra sizing and air volume on the inside and really does emphasize the point of the fact that you can run lower pressures on them it has a speed lock rim profile design essentially it doesn't have a hook it's very easy to inflate the tires but more importantly when you choose to run lower pressures it's very resistant to burping of course that's something you're going to need to rely on if you want to run tire pressures as low as jordan saru he was running at just over 18 pounds per square inch incredibly low but he's incredibly light, so I wouldn't be running that, and you might not want to run that low yourself. Now, when you look on the rim design itself, you'll see a unique QR code on each one of these, totally unique to every set of wheels, and once you register them with that QR code, you get a three-year, no quibbles warranty. Brilliant stuff. Next up is the airliner system. Now, a lot of cross-country racers are choosing to use things like this, tire inserts, as they're known, for a couple of reasons. Firstly, it minimizes the chances of actually slashing the tire casing from pinch punctures. That's where the rim essentially slices the tire against a rock just under an impact. It actually helps stop that because of the fact it can't deform all the way down. It also protects your rim as well, which means if you're running, say, a very rocky cross-country course and you manage to bottom out the rims, it's possible to crack and damage your rim. So that can help protect those. But also, most importantly, with a design like this, is they're designed to be able to run your tire flat. So if you do slash the tire or manage to get a flat in your race or when you're out riding, you're not gonna damage your rim if you continue riding. Now it's possible to ride for an hour on these without damaging your tires anymore or damage the rims. That's pretty impressive stuff, but they'll actually last 2000 hours of regular use and they weigh just 90 grams. Just 90 grams for all that protection. It's a win-win. And finally, but definitely most importantly in my eyes, are the tires. After all, that is your rubber contact with the ground. Now, Jordan Saru recently proved this by running a set of these to victory at the Cross Country World Championships in Leogang. Now, that was probably the worst conditions imaginable, and I feel for any of the competitors having to race in conditions that bad. Now, Jordan made light work of it, and he rode to victory, although he did nearly send himself out the front door once, but he did stay rubber side down throughout the race. No doubt, having a good set of tires that he could rely on did give him some confidence, but let's not take it away from him. He is an unbelievable rider in all conditions, so congratulations, Jordan. But let's talk about your tire of choice, shall we? So, the Barzo. This is the XC race tire designed for mixed conditions, and it really favors slightly wetter conditions, although it does roll supply surprisingly fast. I've been using these on my cross-country bike in ridiculously dry conditions all year, actually. But 
they excel when things get technical. When there's lots of edges and things going on, these tires have got multiple edging on them. But let's talk about the casing first, of which there are two main styles with the Barzo. You get the XC Race and you get the XC Trail that we have here. Now the fundamental difference between them are the XC Race tires are as minimal as you can get. Same tread, same compound, same carcass, they just lack the sidewall support that you get in these. Now, if you're super lightweight or you're willing to take a chance for the weight, then the XC Race is a good choice. But for everyone else, especially if you want to lower pressures or ride aggressive conditions, the trail is definitely the way to go on these. Now, it's 120 TPI casing, that's threads per inch, which means you've got very fine threads very close together. What that means is it's a very supple tire. You can almost feel the contours on rocks on these things. Absolutely astonishing. That's what you need for traction and grip. Now, the casing itself has the sidewall protection in these. It's a little bit thicker, which means you can run slightly lower pressures. That is very cool, but only as cool as the tread that goes on the top of it. Now, the Barzo is designed for mixed conditions. It favors wet, it favors muddy. In fact, actually it works in all conditions, but Victoria say it works best in muddy or technical conditions. Surprisingly fast for something with a fairly high stack height on it, but that stack height really does cut through into stuff. And because it has multiple edging on it and it's got progressive siping, and you really do get an unprecedented amount of traction for a tire that actually feels quite minimal. The cool thing about all Victoria tires is they have four compound technology built into them. That's four rubber compounds extruded into one tire tread. Now, Vittoria is the only manufacturer that can actually do this currently. They have an exclusive setup in their factory. And what it enables is you can have two different compounds on the actual sidewall here on the shoulder and two different compounds on the main tread. Why would you want to do that? Well, for completely tuning the feel of a tire. So in this case, in a cross-country tire, you typically have to have them much firmer to roll faster. You don't have to do that with these. These ones can be as grippy as they need to be, but also as fast as they need to be. The sidewall shoulder lugs here have got a very firm rubber on the underneath for support, so they're not going to fold over, but it's got a very soft rubber over the top for traction. So you can go into those sections with wet, awkward roots and rocks and know that they can hook up, but they're not going to deform anywhere. And same thing could be said for the main tread on the tire as well. You've got a hard base, so it's good for, uh, it's not going to deform when you're actually trying to dig them in when you're braking or accelerating. And of course, the less it moves around, the less rolling resistance it's going to have. Yet you can still have the softer rubber on the top. So it's a very intelligent system and also weaved into the rubber. In fact, on a molecular level, they have graphene in the tires, filling in the holes essentially in that rubber compound. Now this not only adds durability by filling in those holes, adding cut resistance, but it also, as an upside, gives them a lot more grip when it's wet. It's astonishing technology, it really is. And that is about everything you need to know about the Barzo tire. Great weapon of choice, that. Now, if you want to win this complete setup, that's two Barzo tires, two airliner system inserts, and of course the Reaction carbon wheels. And there's gonna be a link hovering underneath this video. Click through in that link, enter the competition, and good luck, because you might win this awesome price. I think it's awesome anyway. So if you wanna find out a bit more about what I was talking about with the four compound rubber and the graphene, there's gonna be another video hovering around. I actually went to see them at their factory in Thailand to see how they make this stuff. Absolutely fascinating. This one is for the serious tech heads out there. Enjoy the video, and we'll see you in the next one. Ta-ra!